inadequately resourced. As we speak, just for the sake of talking about vehicles, that enables us to penetrate, you know, on the field and and um, engage and enlighten people. We have almost 260 district officers. As we speak, we have 132 vehicles. And out of the 132 vehicles, over 60% of them are over 12 years old. So even the running cost of maintaining those vehicles is an entirely different challenge for us. We, this year, I think it's only this month that we were notified that a release had come through. Last year, our third quarter release, fourth quarter release, did not materialize. We received our third quarter release in January. And you're constantly battling with very, the, the, the most ordinary of things you, you are battling with. We have this year, for instance, our districts and regional offices have not received any money from the government of Ghana. How do we expect them to work? By the end of the year, at the end of every month, we are paid. I try to find the balance here, how in one breath we are paid consistently, regularly, and in another breath, we are not given the resources and the tools to work. And um, we need to take a second look at this. Everything right now for me is geared towards reorienting mindset of our people for national development. And if NCC is not seen as a priority agency to drive that process in collaboration with other government and civil society organizations, then we are not going very far. So typical government policies and interventions that require not only infrastructural development, but more importantly, a mindset that complements that is largely lost. And so the work that is done or the monies that are expended is going down the drain. Why do we continue to construct the simplest things of drains and still have people thinking that rubbish must go in the drains? And when it rains, people are dying. We are losing property. And you're asking yourself, where are our priorities now? So this is a critical issue that we must all consider.